students. This week, we're talking about the Roaring Twenties, the 1920s, one of the de decades that we celebrate in American history, generally looked at as a prosperous and successful decade in American history. Now, at this point, as I record this on Friday afternoon, I'm not sure what the schedule looks like after Thanksgiving break. I know that I will see some of you on Monday and Tuesday, but I'm not sure if I'll see all of you when we come back on November 30th, or if I'll only see some of you on November 30th. So at this point, the schedule is a little bit in flux. We hope to know solidly what we're doing after Thanksgiving break on Monday. But right now, if you guys look at the schedule, these are the two assignments that we are doing in class on Monday and Tuesday. If you are on the front end of the alphabet and they make the decision that we will still be on hybrid when we come back, you will do these assignments online this week or the week of November 22nd to 24th or when we get back. We're talking about the Roaring Twenties. Good decade in America. Uh, a decade that America kind of starts to become something that we're familiar with. A lot of the things that we kind of take for granted in American society, the media, advertising, consumerism, celebrities, sports, these things really come about in the 1920s. That's when they become pop culture of our country. And it's been like that for about 100 years. I'm going to show you guys this graphic. And you're kind of looking at American culture in the 1920s. You're looking at actresses. You're looking at sports stars. The first sports star being Babe Ruth. And you're looking at different fashions or what we call pop culture. The 1920s is also a big deal in America because we first switched to a consumer-based economy, consumerism. In America, we love consumerism. Before consumerism, before the 1920s, we were a production-based economy, which meant primarily our economy made money selling things that people need. When you talk about products in a production economy, you're talking about oil, you're talking about steel, you're talking about grain, you're talking about things that people need. When you talk about consumer economy, it's not what people need. You're selling products that people want. Luxury items, things to make your life more enjoyable, things to make your life more convenient. And in the 1920s, we become a consumer economy. We love consumerism in America. In fact, we have a holiday celebrating consumerism. It's called Black Friday, where we buy a whole bunch of things for people, not that they need generally, but things that they want for the holidays. When you're selling products that people want rather than products that people need, advertising becomes very important because you have to convince people that they need these products even though in truth they want these products. So in the lesson this week, you'll look at some advertising, print advertising of the 1920s, and you'll also look at some of our pop culture of the 1920s with movies, television, slang, sports, and all that good stuff that we still love and celebrate in America. You guys have a great Thanksgiving, have a great week, and I'll see you when you return.